What's going on guys? So we're gonna take a little look at DraftKings. We know we have earnings coming out tomorrow. So I kinda of wanna just get into the technicals on some of these levels, cause there's a key uh, couple of areas of resistance and support that we need to take a look at. Before I get into that, if you guys wanna trade with me live each and every day, where I kinda of put out these intraday levels to long stocks, to short stocks, definitely join my Discord. That link is down in the description box below. <clears throat> with that being said, getting into the video here, if we kind of take a look at DraftKings, I had an intraday level of right around 2250 because we held here, 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 and this area previously was acting as a level of resistance. And you can see when we did break out from this level, we came down and back tested it successfully one time here as well as here. So I let the guys know in the Discord today anything lost below 2250 has room down to 22. The big range that we've been trading on in DraftKings has been $24, which is highs up here in the range of 22. We've kind of been in this range for a long time now. So kind of going into earnings, what can we expect? We actually broke down below this $22 area and we put in a new low here, recent low of $21.90. So tomorrow's price action is going to depend on do we hold 2190 and do we bounce off this area? If we bounce off this area and we start trading back up towards 2250, definitely see what we do there before you start taking a long position because if we do get rejected and come back down and flush out, let's say for example, DraftKings earnings get sold. A lot of earnings are getting sold. If they get sold, we have a short position below 2189. And then we have first potential price target down here at 21, as well as $20.32. In order for us to get extremely bullish on DraftKings, we are going to need to get out of this consolidation. And when I mean get out of this consolidation, we're going to need to get a close over 20 over 24. Okay, we're going to need to take out these highs here. We're going to need to get a close over 24. If we can't get over 24, going to the long side does not interest me. The only thing that interests me is getting the pops and then fading at the resistance back down. Because as the stock has been showing us, every time it comes into this range at the top, it sort of fades away. So with that being said, the momentum and the bigger trades have always been the trades to the downside. Now, let's say the market is going to turn around. Let's say that DraftKings has phenomenal earnings. I know a lot of you guys really believe in the stock long term. As well, do I, right? So do I. I think three years, five years down the road, this is going to be a $100 stock easy, right? However, the market that we're trading in, in this environment, maybe 2022, it doesn't get over you know, and really start to break out. Not saying that it can't, but maybe it doesn't. And if it doesn't, we need to be prepared to trade this on a day-to-day -day basis because so far it has given us perfect opportunities to short, perfect opportunities to short. And it's also given us perfect opportunities for longs. So as long as you are playing the range and as long as you are playing the trend, you can make decent money shorting the top and buying the bottom. Now, it's not going to be like this forever. When we do finally break down, we are going to enter into a new range. Then we're going to have to establish a new level of support, see if this level down here holds. And we need to see, is this area going to act as resistance? If that's the case, then this is the new range that we're going to play. If we break out to the top side, we're going to really need to put in a new high, and then we're going to need to back test and that high and these lows are going to really need to establish a new range. And in that new range, that's when we're going to need to see, you know, what do we do when we come into support? What do we do when we come up to resistance? Just keep that in mind with earnings coming up uh, tomorrow. Anything can change. This can go up 15, 20 percent or it can completely flush and wash out. We will not know which direction we're playing until we get those earnings. So just be careful, be cautious, be safe. Guys, again, if you do want to trade with me each and every single day live with my trading team, definitely join that Discord. That link is down in the description box below. Also like this video so it gets out to more people and I will see you guys all in the next trading video.